African cichlids are wonderful fish to keep. The fact that their colors are beautiful, they're almost unrivaled as far as colors in the freshwater hobby, makes them really enticing to keep, in addition to their behavior and the fact that they're very active, they're very enjoyable as a fish to keep. With that being said, they can be quite challenging to keep with other fish. Today I'm going to give you some ideas on what other fish you might keep with your African cichlids. Hey fish friends, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. My name is Zenzo from Tazawa Tanks. Now, first thing I wanna say is these are just my opinions on what types of fish you can keep with African cichlids. And there might be other fish that will work or some of these that may not work in your situation. So these are just some recommendations that I'm giving. Now, before you get some tank mates for your African cichlid aquarium, there are some things that you should consider. The first thing in my opinion that you should consider is why do you wanna put other fish in your African cichlid tank? African cichlids come in so many different colors and shapes already that there's so many variations that it's almost like you don't need to have different fish in there. So as an example, this tank behind me, this peacock tank, there's blues and reds and yellows and all kinds of different colors in there that really makes them unique. And uh, so even though there's, you know, one species of fish in there, it looks like there's lots of different types of fish in there. So that's one thing to think about is do you really want to have other fish in there besides just your African cichlids? Now, maybe you've decided that you do want to have other fish in your aquarium besides just African cichlids. There are some other things to consider. One thing to consider is tank size. How big is your aquarium? So 55 gallons, 75 gallons, you might be limited. If you have a larger tank, you might have more options. If you have a smaller tank, pretty much very few options. So tank size is gonna be something to consider. The other thing to consider when thinking about fish to go in your African cichlid tank are the water parameters. Now, African cichlids do prefer to be in an aquarium with a higher pH and harder water. So some of the fish that you might wanna put in there that are really geared towards softer water environments may not do well in your African cichlid tank. Something else to consider, and this is probably the biggest one, is aggression. Some African cichlids can be really aggressive towards other fish. Not only are they, are they aggressive towards each other, which we've talked about in other videos and how to manage aggression, like overstocking as an example, but they can be aggressive towards other fish. So that is gonna limit you in a lot of situations as far as what you can keep with your African cichlids. And then lastly, maintenance, and I've talked about this in other videos. Obviously, if you have an aquarium and you add a bunch of other fish in there, you are increasing the amount of work that you are making for yourself, meaning that you're gonna have to spend more time doing water changes, you're gonna have to spend more time probably doing filter maintenance and other things like that. Now that we got all of that out of the way, let's talk about some fish that you might consider putting in your African cichlid tank. Now, the first one that I'm gonna recommend is probably the one that I would go with the most for pretty much most African cichlid tanks, and that's gonna be some Cynodonus catfish. Now, pretty much any Cynodonus is gonna work well in your African and cichlid aquarium. Reason one is that they are a different body shape than the cichlids, so this African cichlids aren't gonna really view it as something that's a real threat or competition. They're not gonna like chase it around and fight with it in breeding situations because it's obviously a catfish. It's obviously something that's very different than them and uh, they occupy different parts of the tank, so they pretty much leave each other alone. The other reason why Cynodonus do well is that Cynodonus come from Africa. They come from the Rift Lakes, so they are accustomed to that harder water, that higher pH. So the fact that they do like that same water parameter is gonna make it a lot easier. Now, some things that you are gonna to wanna to consider if you are gonna have some synodonis in your aquarium with your African cichlids is a couple of things. One, you wanna make sure that you have a space for them to be. So a lot of them like to hide, a lot of them like to um, have their own little area, a cave, or underneath a rock, or underneath a decoration. So having something like that in your aquarium for your synodonis is gonna be important. They're gonna feel safer, they're gonna be feel more secure. Additionally, for the most part, they like to be in groups. So I would not recommend having like a single synodonis catfish in your African cichlid tank, but more so having a few of them in there, because um, most of them do like to shoal together. So if you have you know three or four or five, depending on the species, that's probably gonna be better for you. The next fish that I'm gonna recommend is a rainbow fish. Now, a rainbow fish is a fish that comes from Australia, so obviously a very different continent than Africa, but they do have some similar characteristics. They can tolerate the harder water just fine. 
They are a medium-sized fish, so they're large enough to not be bothered by the African cichlid, and you know the African cichlids you know, not really too concerned with them. Um, but also, they have some really beautiful colors, hence the name rainbows. And they come in different variants, but some rainbows have brilliant colors to them, and they're large enough to, for the most part, be left alone by the African cichlid. Additionally, rainbows are pretty fast swimmers, so if you have a fast-swimming fish that's you know in the water column and swimming back and forth. Um, it's not a fish that's really going to get picked on in a corner or one spot. It's a fish that can swim around and be fast and be left alone. Another good thing about having rainbow fish in your African cichlid tank is that because they're large enough and because they're fast swimmers, they're not going to have, have an issue with uh, being outcompeted for food. So when you put those pellets in that aquarium, when you put that flay food in the aquarium or whatever it is that you're feeding your fish, the rainbows are going to be able to go after that fish food as well and not uh, be in a situation where they're not getting food. So that's very important when considering tank mates for your African cichlids. Now another big reason why a lot of people like to keep rainbows with their African cichlids is they are very colorful so that you do have that continual dynamic of having lots of color in the tank, but they act as kind of like a dither fish. So if you have a you know group of them in your aquarium, um, you have a lot of activity. So usually what happens in an African cichlid tank is if you have too few numbers, you have a situation where the some of the fish are going to get picked on and bullied, and that could result in injuries or death to some of the fish. If you have a lot of fish in there, it's harder for that bully African cichlid to pick on some of the other fish because there's so many fish swimming around that it's hard to target that one fish that's kind of sitting off in the corner. So with rainbow fish, because they're large enough, because they're colorful, because they're fast moving, and because they're not African cichlids. The African cichlid is going to see these big colorful fish swimming around. It's not going to really know to target one or target another. They're going to become distracted. So it's going to be um, some of the fish that might get picked on would be kind of lost in the crowd uh, by having those dither fish swimming around. So the Australian uh, rainbows actually do a, a good job of, uh, you know, kind of reducing some of the stress and chaos in your aquarium. Now, before I continue on with more tank mates for African cichlids, I want to pause and thank today's sponsor, Into the AM. Into the AM is a team of artists and creators that formed an apparel company to share a common vision of developing premium apparel that elevates self-expression while focusing on comfort by using the highest quality materials and eco-friendly inks. Into the AM has dozens of cool designs like this one, this one, this one that glows in the dark, the jellyfish, one of my favorites, this cool lion, and lots of other cool designs including hats. So if you use the code below, you'll get a 10% discount. Additionally, if you do a bundle of three graphic tees, you'll get them for $55 before the 10% discount. Check out Into the am in the link below. The next category of fish that you might want to consider, might want to consider when adding fish to your African cichlid tank are other cichlids. Now, for the most part, it doesn't work out very well, but there are some situations where it can work out just fine. One example would be the jewel cichlid. Now, the jewel cichlid is an African cichlid, and there are different species of jewel cichlids, but they are African cichlids, but they don't come from the rift lakes of East Africa. They come from uh, West Africa predominantly, some of the lakes and rivers and things like that, the streams in West Africa. Um, but they are similar in size. They're also very beautiful, hence the name jewel cichlid, and they can also be quite tough in and aggressive on their own. So you might even have a situation where your aggressive African cichlid is bullied by the slightly smaller jewel cichlids. Um, so that might be a situation where um, you have some in your aquarium and you put them in there and they'll kind of you know, fight off the African cichlids or, you know, the Malawi cichlids and kind of have their own space. Um, but they could work well in a uh, in an African cichlid tank. Some other fish to consider would be some of your other African cichlids from other parts of Africa, like Madagascar, as an example. So something like the Paratilapia is a fish that's not too common in the hobby, but very beautiful to look at if you can find one. And because they can tolerate similar water parameters um, and they're large and tough enough to handle that environment, they would also do well in an African cichlid now, the last fish that I'm going to recommend on this list is something that you might not think of um, because they usually require different water parameters. Uh, these fish come from South America rather than Africa, usually softer water rather than harder water. But oftentimes when we are taking care of our aquarium fish, they're all in the same type of water anyway. Usually it's tap water. Um, they've probably been bred in tap water. So they've kind of acclimated to kind of being in this neutral water environment. And that fish is the Placostomus. Now I've kept Placostomus with African cichlids before. I've kept the common Placostomus, which they get quite large. They're armored. They get left alone totally. African cichlids don't mess with them because basically you just see this big 
armored log looking thing that they don't even bother with. Um, I've seen people keep them, uh, keep African sickles with other types of Plecostomus before. Some of the larger fancy Plecos would do okay. Um, and even like a uh, bristle nose Pleco if it's large enough. So if you're gonna have a Plecostomus in an African cichlid tank, I would say to make sure that it's large enough to be able to not be bothered, fend for itself, fight off anyone that's bothering it. So nothing that's like three or four inches. You'd wanna get something that's you know, five, six, seven inches or larger so that it can be left alone and not get beat up and bullied by the Africans. Now you might hear people keep other types of fish with African cichlids and they've had varied success from, you know, things like parrot cichlids and severums and, you know, things that you may not think of at all. These are not fish that I would recommend. These are not fish that I've done personally um, for various reasons. Um, you've also seen people keep clown loaches in African cichlid tanks, and that's not something that I would recommend personally, um, just because the water parameters are so far off, and because the clown loaches can get stressed out pretty easily by the activity of the African cichlids and their aggression, it's not something that I personally would recommend, even though a lot of people do it, and you may have done it, and you may have done it with success, it's just not something that I would recommend. So that's my list of fish that I would recommend keeping with African cichlids if you were, you know, bent on keeping something in your African cichlid tank. I like to keep just African cichlids together, but a lot of people want to do something different. I'd love to read down below in the comments the types of fish that you've kept with your African cichlids, whether it's some of these that are on this list or some others that I didn't mention. If you've not done so already, please give this video a like, and also please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.